everyone, the time is 8.22. This is tea time, and my name is Jack Attack. So, you might think, 8.22, that's a normal time. Normal time. Jack usually does the tea time right around 8.22, sometimes as late as 8.30. Little do you know, I've already recorded a tea time, uploaded it, realized there was no audio, and deleted it and took care of a bunch of financial bank stuff and checked a couple of my things which we're going to talk about but yeah so i've been waking up before my alarm which if that has never happened to you before wake up consistently do the exact same thing in the morning make sure you're eating and following your morning build order go to sleep at about the same time every night and continue and continue and continue and for me it took about a week and a half two weeks uh, locked into the schedule of going, getting into bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, it's at bed at the same time, waking up at the same time. And um, my body has decided that it does not need as much sleep as I gave it, which is intentional. So I set up the, the thing, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to set it up so I have eight hours of sleep. Usually don't need quite eight hours of sleep, but I'm going to set it up that way. So that way, once my body realizes, okay, this is the norm, this is the way we're doing things, it can make things more efficient automatically, which is what my body does. So it is decided that um, an hour of that sleep is not necessary and that it is much more happy waking up on its own before the alarm at seven hours worth of sleep, approximately. So, yeah, so I just manifested one hour because I stuck to a schedule and I kept it consistent. I now have an hour with the same amount of energy uh, and the same amount of, of happiness uh, as I had before, if not more. But now I have an extra hour that I never had before. In addition, from doing the morning build order over and over again and getting it really tight, getting a really tight build order in the morning, which is good, I've shaved a half an hour off of my original execution time. Originally, it was, um, it took me 45 minutes to get up make coffee, do all this thing, take a quick walk, all that. And now it takes me 15 minutes. How insane is that? Like, that's crazy. That's abs That's like two thirds of the time it took to complete me was, was being wasted, was wasted time. Two thirds of the time. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So in total, as a result, uh, for the simple fact that I stuck to this schedule and kept it consistent, I now have an hour and a half of time that I would never have had before. I manifested time. It just happened. I just manifested time. I did all kinds of stuff, and I'm still on the old schedule. I did a bunch of stuff before this, so I can insert all that stuff in and I feel great so you know it's not really socially cool to have a schedule right you know you're like oh yeah you know I go to bed at the same time every night wake up at the same like oh yeah oh okay buddy and of course they always make that face which is moderately frustrating but they do and it's like well what do you value more? You know, the approval of your peers or an hour and a half to do anything you fucking want. Think about it. Which one do you want more? Um, but seriously, seriously, let's like cut out this whole taboo about like, oh yeah, if you have a schedule, then um, you're not a person that's that can be fun or, or people don't want to hang out with you or anything like that because you can have a schedule and still have lots of fun. And the other thing too is once you have a schedule and it's locked in and you're doing all the time, making exceptions to that schedule doesn't fuck you up. Making exceptions all the time, obviously, that's gonna fuck you up. But if you're always going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, you go to like a show and it runs late and you're, you're staying up super late and hanging out, you have a better ability to do that, to stay up and, and do whatever and you're gonna get right back on your schedule super quick because it's sort of ingrained in this in this sort of system. There's an exception and then you come back to it, similar to the whole dieting thing where it's like, if you're consistently burning more calories than you take in, once in a while, if you have a day where you like go ham and have half a cake 
and like you know masses of amounts of frosted donuts um, is not going to mess you up as badly as if you had a little bit extra every single day. I don't know why that is. Maybe one of you can tell me. But that is what I've been told. That has been my experience. So, which is what I have. Which is what I currently have. Yeah, so let's talk about Wow, already five minutes in talking about that. Well, I think we have a, a mini topic that I want to talk about then, in which case so this doesn't run too long, uh, which is checking my stuff, I like to call it. It's just notifications. Like, I have an email. My Gmail appears with a little, whoosh, you know, next to it with one. It's like, whoa. And that one email is like, the most frustrating thing in the world if I can't do it right away. It's like, I want to do it. I see it, I was like, Poof. Recently I've been saying, oh, well, I have other things to do. This has actually been part of my morning build order is getting on the computer and not hitting Google Chrome is like, is amazingly, surprisingly difficult. I want to immediately get to all my notifications, answer them all, and that's, you know, it's useful to me because I answer and read a lot of YouTube comments. I read pretty much all of them. Unless like two people get into a debate about something and they just go on and on about something I don't care about. And I'm just like, okay, you guys have fun having your debate. I've already, I'm, I'm not really gonna get anything out of this. In any case, but like, right? Do you guys get that? Do you get, do you guys get that, right? Or it's like lots and lots of notifications or, or one notification, it doesn't matter. Any amount of notifications, it, it freaks you out. You just need to get it done. You feel, rather, you feel the need to get it done. I don't know why that is. I was on tour um, and the lead rapper slash singer guy, my cousin, um, Jared Paul. If you are into slam poetry and, and hip hop, look up Jared Paul. He does some cool stuff. Um, he has his, you know, has his computer on, on tour and I did not have a laptop. I still don't have a laptop actually. I've never owned a laptop. Yeah. Um, and I was like, hey, can I you know, check my Facebook? And I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, go for it. I picked up his computer and I was opening up, logging the Facebook, obviously. His computer auto-logged him in, so I was about to log out and then I realized there were hundreds of notifications. Literally hun multiple hundreds. The, the number was in the multiple hundreds. And like, you know, 100 messages and like, you know, 25,000 invites. All right, that number was an exaggeration. The others were accurate. What? Like, how do you do that? Are, are you one of the people who does that? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it just bugs me to no end to have this notification. Like, this little, like, it's like an itch. You know, I'm just like, ah. Really, really difficult to resist the urge to, like, check that email and answer it and, and do everything that I need to do. So which kind of person are you? A kind of person who just doesn't give any fucks about notifications and they just go on and on and on and you just kind of use things the way you want to use them? Or are you a person like me, where if there's a notification up there, you really, really want to get it accomplished. Whatever that means, you just want to get that notification done. Um, write in the comments below. And I think there's some sort of probably science behind it, social science of some sort, soft science. I think soft science is a whole other word that I just kind of threw out there and maybe people will freak out. We'll see. Likely no one will freak out, but let me know what kind of person you are and do you know any reasons why this effect happens? We'll call it the notification effect. But the main point of today's episode is you can manifest time. Someone already said, oh, I've always wanted to learn how to paint, but I, but I don't have the time. Get a morning routine going. Go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, and your body's going to adjust, and it's going to give you, likely, more energy on less sleep. And then you'll have your time, and you can learn how to paint, or you can learn a new language, or you can do anything you want. You can finally complete that really, really hard video game that you've been trying to complete. That's all. See ya.